Greetings, everyone. It's me again, Ashkar from Blood Moon Pictures, and welcome to a World of Warcraft trailer reaction video. You have definitely heard when you are up to date with World of Warcraft, anyway, like up up to date. If you know about like the next expansion, which is Shadowlands, and the previous five expansions four expansions, five expansions, they have always made, like, these small animated trailers um, where they, like, well, small, they, like, they, those animation trailers, like uh, the Warbringers or um, the, the, the things, w uh, the previous trailers for the um, Pandaren, uh, for the Pandaren Emperor and stuff like that, or the Warlords of Worlds of Draenor, those... I really, really dearly love them, and today, not even an hour ago when I'm recording this, the first one, Shadowlands Afterlife Bastion, came out. And I wanted to do a, seri a small series of me reacting to each of one of them as soon as I'm able to. And without further ado, that's the intro, so you know what's happening. I'm reacting to a World of Warcraft original animation and the story it has with it. The first one is Bastion, and from the thumbnail, I would guess it's about Uther the Lightbringer, since we already have been hinted that he would arrive. Um, I have been not spoiled, I did not check out any beta content, so I have no idea about, like, who shows up and who doesn't. But, this, yeah, I'm, I'm like, going completely blind into these, besides, like, the first initial trailer that they would show up. But, let's start. a truly selfless life and for that you have been chosen chosen to shed your mortal burdens and join the ranks of the ascended serving to ferry the souls of the dead unto the shadowlands i serve the light and my work is not done there is an evil that must be there is no evil here the darkness was sealed within the Maw long ago. You're wrong. He destroyed my home. Murdered my people and my king. He must be punished. You are an aspirant now. You must accept your new purpose and purge yourself of this desire for vengeance. What I desire is justice. Devos, so why are you training this soul? It is beneath your station as a paragon. He cannot let go. He continues to demand retribution for his death. And this concerns you? Many souls take eons to ascend. Yes, but this one seems broken, Thenios. Unlike any soul I have seen. I have begun to wonder whether he was deemed worthy of Bastion. By mistake. Be careful, Devos. I would not let the Archon hear such a thought. In time, he will forget. Trust our ways. Trust the path. Okay. Devos. How long must we train? Until you are ready to ascend. And what is keeping me from ascension? 
Nothing but the memory of your mortal life. How can I forget when I can still feel his blade? Your soul is wounded? Who did this to you? He was my student. He betrayed us all. Show me. The runes on his blade were unmistakable. This dark agent runs free on a mortal world with the power of the Maw itself in hand. Our realm is imperiled. Impossible. The Maw is inescapable. You must return to the path. If he had purged his life, we never would have known of this calamity. The path is flawed. Enough! The Order of the Shadowlands depends on the execution of our eternal charge. You will abandon this course. As you command, my Archon. Uthas! The time of your ascension has come. I thought I was not ready. Do you wish to see him punished? I do. Then prepare yourself. The moment he falls. We will claim him. What? I see. Only darkness. He served. His eternal suffering awaits. He was my student. Remember what he did and take your vengeance. Not vengeance, justice. Okay, this is the first one of these animated things where I literally, I literally tear, I am literally tearing up. This one is amazing because, I mean, Arthas and his entire story arc is like my favorite among the uh, Warcraft universe, at least one of, and uh, like when Arthas finally died like, fell at the top of Ice Crown, I was really sad, and I always thought, like, oh, there has to be a secret of the Lich King and everything, and uh, Arthas was stupid for, like, doing things, but no, he was tricked, by, like, he did not see some things coming, which was clear, but the thing is, like, the small hint of his theme whenever he, uh, like, when, like, especially here... <laughs> Oh. Wait, wait, wait. He Here. That small bit of his theme just gave me goof goosebumps. And 
So, a part of the soul did got consumed, but another part returned to the Shadowlands, or like, went to the Shadowlands. Which is interesting, because if you think about it, we always thought that the blades, like, that Frost One actually consumed the entirety of the soul, and not just a part of it, of, like, the, those he, that were sl slain. But that, like, sheds an entire new light on all the Death Knights. So, like, I'm very curious, like, what that means. Like, like what it, like, exactly means. Because before I thought, like, that um, all the souls that got trapped in Frostmourne and, like, by the Scourge were only released once Arthas died and the blade got destroyed. And now we see, like, we finally see what Arthas is seeing in, like, the moment he, of his demise. I see. They see only darkness. darkness. He saw her, and that's freaking... Me. Oh my god. And then Uther, like, no, this is not vengeance, it's justice. And he still fed, felt a little bit sorry for Arthas. Because he feels like he failed him as a mentor, which I can't understand. Like, <laughs> if my student would have, like, ended up doing that, mm, yeah, I would have felt like I was a failure as well. And he literally, like, that is so interesting. And I freaking love, like, one second, I freaking love, like, this picture of Uther just being like, Ah, uh, just no go and leave the oh, and then and this is like how the mall looks from the outside apparently. Whoop, where where is it? Um, so oh come on, shut up, Windows. Yeah, wow, wow, and he served this darkness. Will we find out? Will we find out... Will we find out that he, like, I don't know, was in liege with the... Or at least... That the, um, the, the big bad guy, I forgot his name, the Jailer, was actually, like, at once... Uh, at one point being, like, um... Trying to manipulate, like, the Lich King, like, the entire entity, the Lich King. I mean, we now know that, like... Like, that the sword apparently comes from there. It apparently comes from the Shadowlands and everything. But I'm curious, like, if Uther... If Uther landed in Bastion... And for that. Be, uh, even, like, before... Like, before Arthas got killed and everything, where did, like, Arthur... Where did the Terranus Menethil, Arthas' father, land? Or end up? Damn, this is such an amazing thing, and it got me goosebumps, it got me teary-eyed, because it, like, revisited, from a different perspective, the story of Arthas. And I love it so much. I'm really kind of sad that this kind of... Uh, well, now that we know he's in the Mon, the Mon is inex inescapable, but we can go to the Mon, there's a... A shitload of souls in the Maw that don't belong to the Maw, thanks to Sylvanas. That's what we know from, like, what Blizzard has told us, spoiler-free, so far. And... So that means the people of Bastion... Uh, decide where the souls go, I suppose? Or, like, they do it with Oribos together or whatever, like, the, the main thing. And, like... They chuck, chuck Arthas in there for, like, vengeance reasons. And vengeance are, like, dark reasons. More like, uh, maybe a Revendra thing. Because, like, uh, yeah. And so maybe not everyone landing in the Maw is, like, completely 100% canonly, completely evil and irre irreversible. Maybe it's just just that that, like, they deem them that way for specific things like she just just like did this probably without even the rest of the people knowing 
that they she will just decided it like this. Maybe she maybe they did, maybe they didn't, I don't know. And Uther and her did this, but there is a chance for Arthas to actually like like repurpose his soul to like regain to like uh, um what's the word like a, a story to recover like the good within Arthas because yeah I mean sure I I would wish so because I I would love to see like a bit more Arthas but damn this gives like a whole new light because those like the the Bastion people they ascended, they apparently have the power to freely choose to chuck people into the maw. And I'm kind of curious, if this wasn't the thing, if, like, Arthas didn't got chucked into the maw, and thus the powers of, like, escaping the maw and stuff like that with the blade and everything, um, were, like, returned to the maw, I, I am curious if, like, if, like, Arthas, if um, he if they didn't chuck him into the mall, if he went there in on like the natural path, and everything. If he would have landed in Revendreth instead. Because I guess when Arthur after Arthur's death, like uh, and all of the influence of and manipulation of all the powers and everything didn't get to him, uh, like could have been cleansed from him. Damn, that would have been a very interesting story, but this is so amazing. Like, this is so... Ooh, Uther getting his revenge. Well, the justice that Ar Arthas deserved. This is such a powerful picture. I freaking love it. I love everything about it. And uh, now, like... The thing is, this is probably... This will probably be my most favorite because it was about Arthas and Uther... And Bastion and all of that. And Bastion is like the place where I want to go with Klenatu, um, with my main character. So I'm just really curious, like how the others go, because one of my other most favorite characters also shows up in Sh Shadowlands, which is Kale Thus, and maybe he, maybe he's the one featured in Reven in the Revendreth one. But I don't know, like. Um, who knows? And, th like, there are a bunch of amazing characters uh, they wish a spotlight. Um, but, like, I'm just so immensely curious about, like, what happens after and if anything would be able to top this one. I mean, it's Arthur, so I'm kind of biased, but I I can't wait. This video is going on for way longer than I anticipated because I just want to react and get a short review, but I had so much to say about this. And the art style, as always, is amazing. And this, like the micro story they told in this is also really amazing. That apparently, whoops, that apparently, like, um, like the, that like, Blade for blades forged within the Ma, I think, like bl like blades or weapons forged, um, like uh, Frostmourne, that they do such damage on the soul that might even be lasting. Damn. I really love this, and if you think about it, Arthas ruled as the Lich King for like seven to eight years max <laughs> because uh it is um in the canon timeline each expansion is about like a year span so about ish seven to eight years arthas was the lich king that's it no maybe no actually just seven because he didn't start um he didn't he wasn't the Lich King at the fall of uh, at uh, the fall of Archimonde on Mount Hyjal, and that's like four years exactly before World of Warcraft started. Yeah, so about ish seven years he was only the Lich King. So, yeah, those were over only seven years that he like. That that Uther was in Bastion before he th like th this small video is a span of seven years basically. But yeah, this is just 
amazing and I freaking love it. It's so awesome and the imagery, like every second picture here could be just, I don't know, a, a background of on my desktop. I love it so much. This is amazing. But either way, this is it for this video. I went on for way too long. Um, I'm very curious what the future holds. I'm very curious what happens with the other animations because I extremely love this animation style. Um, but yeah, in the end, we don't know yet and we have to wait. So I hope you enjoyed it If and you enjoyed my review and reaction. I'm sorry that I'm always keeping like very silent and something really like gets me, especially like cutscenes and stuff like that. I always like, I have like this, this trained instinct to just remain silent so I can, like, take it in entirely. So I tend to talk afterwards. But either way, um, I'm not an expert on lore. <laughs> so I don't know, like, every ins and, ins and out. Um, I do know more than the average person that plays World of Warcraft, I guess. But I'm not as good as Noble87 on YouTube. And he's an amazing guy. Check him out. Um, he's, like, the, the guy that got me back into World of Warcraft. And yeah, either way, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please leave a like. That would be greatly appreciated. Let's end it on our boy. Oh, wait. Let's end it like on this picture here. <laughs> but either way, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please leave a like. That would be greatly appreciated. I look forward for the rest, but I also sincerely love all of you guys and this animation. And we'll see each other in the next video and or stream. Cheerio!